Hi, this is Linda Gutierrez, your seasoned independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'm going to show you how to make this fun technique card that is called a spring card. And I've got two different designs here. This might look a little familiar. You'll remember that I did a fun tutorial on how to do the shaker. And I thought it would be fun to do on this particular type of card because this is called a spring card. and Here's why it's called that is because you can see when the recipient opens up their envelope, this is what happens when they see this card. Boing! See how it springs up like that? So that's why it's called a spring card. And let me show you how it looks from all the different angles. I'm not sure how it's coming out on camera, if you're able to see that very well, but it's a really fun little card. See again, this springs up. Okay, and so for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this fun little graduation cap. Isn't that the cutest thing? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. To start, we're going to take our diagonal plate and let's bring this in here. And I have my piece of cardstock that is cut at ten and a half by five and a quarter. And we're going to score this here at the two and five eighth inch mark at five and a quarter and then again at seven and seven seven eighths. Okay, just like that. The next thing we'll need to do is we're going to bring in our diagonal plate and just a little reminder here you want to look for the arrow in the back here to make sure that this part is facing up when you lay it onto your plate. Okay, so let's bring our cardstock back in and we're going to do a score line here at the two and five eighth inch mark and then again at the seven and seven eighth inch mark. Okay, and then we're just going to flip this over and we're going to do the same thing over on this other side. Just like that. Okay, now I'm not sure how well this is showing on camera, but we've got all our different score lines here. Okay, and now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut away the two triangles over here at this end of um, our cardstock where we've made that score line right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish cutting this away. And now here's the shape that you're going to end up with. We're going to now make our folds. So you want to fold at the diagonal one way and then again the other way just like that okay and then what I do is I then flip this over and then you're going to fold along the middle um, score line by doing it this way it'll help for this to be able to fall into place a lot easier so as you can see all we need to do now is just Turn that down just like that. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is this is going to get folded here along this score line. So we're just going to fold it in that way. So let's give it a good crease here with our bone folder. Okay, and there you have it. That's the main um, construction of how to put this card together. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish making our graduation card. What I've got here is a piece of white card stock. Um, this is the Whisper White and we're going to add this to this bottom panel here on our card. So let's go ahead and put this in here. like that 
And now what we need to do is we need to tack this down so that it stays down. And I like to use my um, glue dots. So we're going to use the glue dots for this. And this just helps to um, keep it tacked down really nice. Of course, you can use any adhesive of your choice, but again, this is what I prefer to use. So just add a few of those glue dots onto there. And then again, bring that down and just kind of burnish that so that it adheres really nice. Okay, and there we have that. So before we finish up our cap, let's go ahead and just add a couple of our little greetings. So here, I'm just going to put the for you over here on this corner. And this one is the happy graduation from Teeny Tiny Wishes. And I love the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set because it has just about any greeting for every occasion that you can think of. <laughs> okay, so let's put that over in this corner. And so to do the cap, I want to cover up this um, score line here. So I've cut a piece square here at 3 and 11 16 square. Okay, so again, it's at 3 and 11 16. And so let's go ahead and add this to the main base of our card, right on top, just like that. Okay, now this is something that's really fun to do. We're going to um, create this, this cute little tassel here using cardstock. And so what I've done is I've cut a piece of cardstock. This is at about one and, let's see, it's at one and a half by one inch. And what I've done is I've just taken my scissors and I just kind of very carefully went along just like that. And so this is what creates the fun little See the little tassel, the, what's going to be the tassel here? Okay. And so after I've done that, I've taken a piece of sticky strip and put that along here. So we're going to go ahead and peel that away. And then the next thing um, you want to use is uh, something that's a r really skinny like maybe this is a piece of um, it's a barbecue skewer <laughs> all right and so we're just going to wrap this around the skewer and you want to hold it as tightly as you can as you're wrapping that around okay and so here you can just kind of bring that out we've got our cute little tassel isn't that cute? You know, I've seen this done um, using, I don't know, I think twine or something, but I actually thought of this. Can you believe it? <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I've already cut a really skinny piece of cardstock, and all I did was I just, I did the same thing as I did with the tassels here and just take, took my scissors and cut that. And so this is probably about 1 16th of an inch or so, okay? And then you want to very carefully just kind of wrap this around and tie your um, piece there onto your tassel. And then what I did was I, I'm going to take my glue dots here. Sorry, it fell on the floor. <laughs> And I'm going to use the glue dot to kind of secure that in place. Whoops. Okay. Right like that. 
And let me just go ahead and trim this part away. Okay, so here we've got that. And then I'm going to now put this onto my cap. And so I've used the glue dot that's behind there to help, help secure that into place. Just like that. Okay. And now I'm just going to take a dimensional and just kind of eyeball to where might be the middle of my square. Okay. And let me just go ahead and trim that away. And then I've taken the one half inch, this is a half inch circle that I've punched out from my, what else, half inch circle punch. <laughs> okay. And I put my, I'm going to just put this right on top of my dimensional, just like that. And that's all there is to it. Isn't that fun? This is such a fun little graduation card to give to someone, don't you think? Okay, so that's, that's all there is. And you can, of course, do these fun little spring cards with any, any design that you'd like. So go ahead and go out and make your own. If you'd like to purchase any of the Stampin' Up! products that I've used today, you can go to www.stampingyearround.com and click on the Shop Now button. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please be sure to do that as well. I've also started a new customer rewards program as of June the 1st, um, 2013. So please be sure to check that out on my blog as well. Okay? And I will look forward to seeing you again next time. Have a wonderful day, and thank you again for visiting. Bye-bye.